If you're looking to make yourself a better person, there are a lot of ways to go about it. Yeah, but there's one method that may have an advantage because it uses science to maximize your potential. It's called biohacking, and it's our featured story on the top of the list. We all want to be healthier, perform better, and slow down aging, so we turn to things like exercise and sunscreen. But there are those who take the idea of getting healthy a bit further and participate in what's called biohacking. Biohacking is sort of taking shortcuts with science to improve your biology and your health. Psychonutritionist Dr. Sean Talbot explains that in biohacking, there are two groups, those who want to live longer and those who want better brain function. For those who focus on longevity, it's about protecting the cells. If we can reduce inflammation, if we can reduce oxidation, we can help those cells protect themselves from air pollution and psychological stress and all the things that can cause us to age faster, we can slow that down with some of the biohacking techniques. Like filling your diet with antioxidants called flavonoids, which can protect the cells. You get them in brightly colored fruits and veggies, but in biohacking, supplements are popular. And that's where you can add flavonoids into your energy drinks and into your smoothies and, you know, that kind of stuff. While the one group focuses on prolonging life, the other focuses on performing better today. So that performance might be for an athlete. The performance might be for someone who is a computer programmer or just wants to get more out of their brain power. They're literally trying to hack their brains. But Dr. Sean has a warning about one of the ways people are doing it. Where I think some of the biohackers go wrong on the performance side, they're all stimulants. And if you stimulate people too much, then they get more sort of anxious and irritable and they can't actually do good quality work. So be mindful of performance enhancers even caffeine and be sure to find a balance. So one really good example is matcha green tea. So matcha green tea is going to give you caffeine, so that's going to stimulate your brain, but it's also going to give you theanine, which is a calming amino acid that's naturally in that green tea leaf. Where these two groups meet in the middle is with sleep. Everybody wants to hack their sleep. So if you're only getting six hours, the hack is to get as good quality as possible. Dairy is a great way to go right before you go to bed because in that dairy is a little protein chain that your body will use as a relaxation agent. People are using omega-3 fatty acids because if you can lower inflammation, that can lower your overall stress response and that can help you get into the deeper stages of sleep. And that's how to hack your sleep, body, and brain. Rain.